What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to check out a Perseverance photo from Sol 137. And when I show you this, you're going to want to look at this with your magnifiers because, again, we're going to look at the lines and right off the bat you can see there's something not quite right with this photo. And there's so many more lines in here. Now, some of these lines may be just random. What do I mean by that? Well, let's suppose you're working for the CGI department and maybe there's something laying on the side of a hill that's intelligently made. Well, I'm going to make a circle around it. And then what I want to do is I want to censor whatever's inside that circle. So then I'll just go ahead and do my centering. And then I'll put a complete different color over the whole thing. And yet the line to that circle is still underneath the orangey color that they put over or the filter that they put over there, right? So then you'll see those and then you'll see the actual whatever these things are, whether it be structures, machine parts, whatever they may be. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? Okay, you can see it right here. Mars Perseverance, SAW 137, left navigation camera, or nav and you can see right here you can download it right here it's a 12 by 80 by 240 because you see it almost looks more like a pan right and you can see nasa's mars perseverance rover acquired this image using its onboard left navigation camera or nav cam the camera is located high on the rover's mass and aids in driving this image was acquired on july 9th 2021 south 137 at the local mean solar time of 1705 or 505 in the evening p.m and 27 seconds Image credit goes to NASA, JPL, Caltech. All right. Let me show you this photo right off the bat without doing anything, without putting it into Photoshop. Again, folks, get out your magnifiers. These are the biggest areas that are of interest to me. I'm going to try to put everything right in the middle of the screen, right? Okay. Just this alone. Smack dab in the middle of the screen. We can see what looks like these lines, different shapes right there. We can see something else that's ghosted out right there. See that? Also, take note of these small white pieces. Those are the actual real parts that they did not take out. Notice how you can see where they kind of messed up. There's a space between manipulation on the top and some on the bottom. But look at the white pieces in there, folks. Look. More here. Notice up here. Got something that looks kind of like lines going across. Right here. See that? Again here. If you look in this back hill right here, you can see what looks like a whiter circle right at the very top of that. And I put it right there in the middle of the screen, right here. And even when you bring it out, you really don't truly get the thing out like you'd like to have. But you can see it is not natural. What I'm also going to show you is we're going to look at the very top of a couple of these mountains. And how they usually do this, folks, is they make this like a long flowing mountain ridge or crater wall. When it is clearly not, you can see, once you zoom into this, you can see, one, you can see the blur over the top going straight across, but two, you can actually see the mountains dipping between there or whatever these things are dipping between. So in other words, there is individuality. There is not just a one big flowing mountain range, right? Here, put it right in the middle. Looks like some sort of pipe sticking out. Other than right here in the center, just to the left of it, there's more lines what look like pipes. Here's a good example right here. I'll put a smack dab in the middle. Look right here. You can see the lines that are ghosted out. Something is there. Just like right here. I'm going to have my cursor go around it slowly. You can see the lines. What is that and why is it in the photo? As we go along, look at this. You can see what's been covered up here. You can see it's blurred. Going right across the screen here. All kinds of things that should not be on the Martian surface. Here in the back. Look closely, right in the middle of the screen. You can see what looks like straight lines going across. Looks like a 90 degree angle right here. You can see that, right? Right in the side of the mountain, right? Hmm, imagine that. And there's so much more in here, folks. You'll see something right here. I'll put it right in the middle of the screen. Right there, you see the lines, but you cannot see the actual color of the item. Best way to fool the eye, you can cover up anything you want to and put it all the same color. Then what you do is you try to blend it into its surroundings so that it actually looks like it's part of the surrounding. In other words, you don't see any individuality. You don't see the separate pieces laying there. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into Photoshop. Now we can zoom in a little bit closer. All right, what we're going to do is go step by step in this. Bring it down a little bit. Notice how this area here took a different color change right here. When you see these different colors like this, like to be like a gold, a green. Some of them are more manipulated, more layered to block out what's there. Notice here, 
Here's a perfect example of what I was talking about earlier when I said they manipulated this. You can see it right here, a straight line going across. But wait a minute, the top of the mountain's supposed to be right here, isn't it? But check it out. It literally runs down through here. See it? So they went straight across in here. And you can see where they've actually just went across right here. See a nice straight lines. There's actually individual pieces here. But they blend it all together to make it look like one long mountain range. And it's not. Again, this area right here. Notice how we have something that looks like this here. Look at this. This is cool. Almost looks like there's something standing up right there. And something else looks like it's standing up right here. And we have these nice straight lines. This area. Like I said, it looks like a pipe or something right there. We have all these other pieces that have been blurred like this. You can see like they just went like this. You can literally see lines going up and down. You can see something's here. I'm not sure what to make of that. We have these things here. This is what I was talking about earlier. By these weird lines. Right here. Notice how it is not one long mountain ridge. There's something else here. Notice the blur doing this. But we have something doing this. What looks like a, like a corner, like a 90 degree angle. Something going up like that. See that? More stuff. More things here. All right, let's keep going. Take out some of the color. Let's glance over these other pieces again. You have something that looks like this in the back. Plus, that just could be just shadows and stuff. We'll check that a little further. Looks like something's standing straight out of there. See that? And you can see what looks like weird-looking pieces right here. Look at the, how everything's ghosted out. And you can see it like it's like lines but blurs at the same time. This is what you need to look for. Again, here's that other piece right there. It looks like it's inside of almost like a circle piece. And it's a lighter gray or white right in there. Let's keep going. What look like parts, stuff laying around. Now, I redid this area over here, and I did bring out some stuff a little bit better. This is just doing it over quickly, just to see if I could find any random shapes. Again, notice the different colors. This depends on how deep or how overlaid the manipulation and centering goes, right? I'm not sure what to make of that item. But I can see something that's doing this, which is really crazy looking, right? But you can see whatever that is in, in there. Go over to this side. You're starting to see this stuff come out more and more. Now look at the difference. Look at the lines that are coming out, right? Here, again. Try to shop it up a little bit. So you will get that fuzziness around the edges. But check this stuff out. No way, no how are these mountain ridges at all. I don't believe that. That's my personal opinion. All right. So now we're going to try it a little bit differently, right? Let's back this out just a hair bit. And let's try it this way. Notice how this right here really pops now. It's the same stuff in there. Just have to look for it. Again, the lines are there. Just concentrate on any one of these lines in here. And they're hard to see. I get that. But let's make it a little bit darker, all right? So we can see that there as we started off, all right? The lines are there. We'll just bring out more of the lines. You can see them coming out now, all right? This item right here, here. Not sure what to make out of the background here. This area here. Check it out one last time. Just this alone, folks. This, there's no explanation for that. Folks, in my opinion, these are machines. Could be pots of structures. I don't know. I cannot vet any of this. It's pure speculation. But we can agree that 
it doesn't look natural. Even in the actual raw, quote unquote, photo, you can see things that are ghosted out and shapes in there that clearly do not look like natural rocks, buttes, hillsides, or any of that sort. Is it possible these things are built into it? To be honest with you, in my opinion, I think they're all individual parts laying there and junk laying there and that they made this look like a, just a long flowing crater wall or a ridge, a mountain ridge, and clearly it is not. When you zoom into that, you can actually see where these things taper off, meaning they have individual shapes. So to me, I'm seeing what looks like a junk pile or machines that might be broken apart, or maybe they're not. Maybe they're just on the surface right there where they're at. I don't know. Folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think and see. And please share the video. It's always appreciated. You guys know that. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. And if you're new to the channel, you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell on the right-hand side. And when you hit that notification bell and the box drops down, hit all so you'll be notified of any new videos coming out. Again, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.